you're in your studio, so because we we can have the chance to have a look on your incredible wall. When I was oh, okay. visiting you the first time the beers in, the way, in your honestly. studio, I was standing in front of this wall and I was just like, what's going on here? So how did you spend your, your Corona off time? I mean, you're drawing already all the time, but which probably didn't change. Yeah, you know what? I, I didn't draw that much in the off time, to be honest. Like I did a couple paintings. Um, but it was also kind of nice just to take a pause, you know, like, I think I've been, I've been up, I've drawn all my life and then I've been tattooing like 27 years. So yeah. always drawing, you know, and so to get a bit of a prolonged time off was kind of nice. And it, but it was, to be honest, it was a little bit cause uh, like just nerve wracking, you know, like how uncertain everything was like, you know, I went from places of being like, oh, am I ever going to be able to work again? Like, is it even worth drawing, yeah. you know, like uh, to, you know, oh, it's nice to have a break. So, um, but I have been drawing a little bit again now, so that's nice. Steve, could you show us just the wall that everybody's getting this? Wow, <laughs> Your background effect. is incredible. Yeah, please. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see, how do I do that? Most of them are like neck to knee back pieces, like all these yeah. ones are. Um, but I draw them kind of half size so that it's like easier to manage kind of like composition and layout. Looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Just take one of your drawings and we talk about um, how you started it and from the beginning of the idea to what we can see now. I mean, I have Jan Tonic here and Friedrich Übler with Neo Tradition style and they were like, Steve Moore's joining I'm so in sorry. and later yeah, James yeah, Sexton, like, you? I'm in. Yeah. How about, like, can you see uh, this one? The one with the devil and the... Yeah, 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 yeah. we can see it. A little people. The gray one? Oh. Yeah, so there's like a uh, yeah. devil on the bottom. And then there's like a reaper. Like an angel. Or and all these little people kind of like clawing at this guy that's drowning. And then, like an angel that sort of has this grip on them. Mm. Yeah. So, um, let's see. So, for that one, this one actually super stressed me out because <laughs> I have had this one client since like the 90s, probably like middle 90s, like 95, 96. And I tattooed him a bunch, like I did sleeves on them and, uh, you know, random pieces through the years. And then finally he was like, oh, I want to get a back piece. Cool, like, what do you want to get? And he's like, he's like, yeah, I don't know. I don't really want to like say anything. And I was like, what? Because it's like, you know, neck to knees, right? Like massive. And um, so I was like, I kept telling him like, you know, you got to have like at least like five ideas that I could look at and pick from or something. And then uh, so finally he comes back to me and he's all like, I got it. And I was like, okay. Okay, what's your idea? And he said, uh, hope. Hope. Wow. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, and I was waiting. Fine. I was like, and? And he's like, no, that's it. Hope. Awesome. And then I, so I was like, oh so my good. God, like, I can't make something from nothing, you know? So you stopped and to then, Google um, the word hope? <laughs> yeah, just the word hope. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and I, was, I, I totally had a blank. It was, uh, I had no idea. And then it was coming up to, I was supposed to start on um, at a convention. And so I was kind of running out of time. And at the time I was like feeling just tons of pressure from, you know how it is, um, just tattooing all the time. And you have your friends and your family and your clients. And it always feels like there's, there's all your obligations and all the people that you're trying to kind of spread yourself out around. Um, and at the time I felt kind of hopeless, which is interesting for this whole COVID thing, right? Mm -hmm. um, and it just felt like overwhelming and like, um, you know, you're just trying to keep your head above water. And uh, so then I had the image like popped in my head where I was like, like, maybe the image of hope is also the image of hopelessness. And um, so I had this idea that there was this guy um, like drowning you know, and he's barely got his head above water. And, um, you know, this kind of like this looming character of maybe death or maybe just something 
that's pulling them down. And then all these little tiny people, to me, just kind of represent, you know, all the obligations in your life and all the friends and all the people that you know, everybody that's, you know, you're trying to spread yourself out over. Um, and then the character, the female character, she represents hope. And it's kind of like she is, she has like the lightest of grips on him. Like she's not necessarily like just grab them and pulling out of this bear. She's just sort of like, kind of like uh, just the light grip, you know, because really we have to do the work ourselves, right? When I was a kid, I went to Catholic school. And, and so that, you know, that never really leads you, I guess. Um, but uh, so that's one example. I don't know. <laughs> How long does it take? I mean, of course, it's a stupid question, but because sometimes it's probably with a good flow and sometimes it's a little bit rough to get it full circle, but approximately yeah, what was it? Yeah, it's hard. Like, like that Joan of Arc back piece I did on Katie, I think I drew it in like, a, like an afternoon or a day. Like it was like, like I had it, it went down, everything landed just as it should. And it's like, oh, you know, wonderful, right? Like. And then you have this expectation of yourself that that should be like that every time. And then mm -hmm. other times it's like, like I think that Hanuman one that I drew, like, man, I spent the whole day just doing crappy sketches, you know, like <laughs> I don't super think so. rough. No, no, they are bad. <laughs> I think, I think, I think Wait, the level of talking know, like about that is, I think. we will not find a, find a, a compromise on that part because probably everybody else would say, Oh my God, that is incredible work. Yes. And you're just like, oh, fuck oh, it. And it was trash and every other artist would be, Whoa. no. <laughs> like, really rough scribbles just to kind of get the weight of an object or like the proportions of it. But, you know, I don't worry about details. and like, that's just wasted effort until it's like the, yeah, until the proportionality and, and the, uh, everything is compositionally kind of feels like it could be good. And then it's like, you know, chip away at it and work on the details and stuff like that. And we will have a shot with you, even if I, that I know that you're not drinking. <laughs> oh, I have some water. But you can is, have a water. This is for Steve. We drink for you. Okay. Cheers. 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 Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank you so much, Steve. You're yeah, thanks for inviting me. me.